Chivoyo, how do we achieve that justice, fairness, and equity that you are talking about? And a, a few of us who are within my age bracket are worried by the sheer uh, lack of knowledge of history of our young people, especially uh, our brothers and sisters from the, uh, the southeastern region, for those who are asking for division, that those who are asking for war, those who are asking for attrition in this country, perhaps who do not understand the outcome of the civil war, how much we lost as a people and how much we are held back uh, from progressing. And that's why I asked you that question. For us to move forward as a people and as a leader in that region, what must we do now, practically speaking? I can tell you what we must do now. The problem is that, you see, this thing that was started by young people, but Nigerian government made them heroes. You know, most of these people, when they come out and they are treated, it doesn't work like Nam, Nam the Kanu. You were made a hero. How do we solve the problem? Frankly speaking, Nam the Kanu, most of these people who took arms, as you know, they say the reason for is Nam the Kanu. We, if we, Nam the Kanu, it's not a threat. It's not any threat. He cannot even force Igbo to secede. And that is why everybody in Igbo land, everybody who has any love for Nigeria, has pleaded that Nandikaru will be released. If Nandikaru is released, then anybody still fighting will be known to be a criminal. Because many people who are criminals have now taken up arms under cover that Nam the Kanu is not released. I mean, they have taken cover. For whatever reason, whether they are wrong or right, we think if Nam the Kanu, all of us have agreed, we will appeal to Tedibu to release Nam the Kanu. Then after that, I will assure you, Sheru, people, anybody who wants to say, will go through the normal process. In our constitution, there is a process. And some of us who love Nigeria want that everybody who loves this country must be very careful to avoid any breath. If any part of this country breaks, it will result into total destruction of Nigeria. Over 12 countries will emerge. So the best thing is for everything to be done to keep Nigeria. Many Nigerians today are asking for restructuring of Nigeria. That has been many parts of Nigeria today, the South South, the Southwest, the Southeast, and even part of uh, Northern Nigeria is asking for restructuring. We think this restructuring needs to be done. Tinibu's government should take it very serious. If Nigeria is restructuring, first of all, that will create that to, that, to, that, to, that to get the federal government out of full responsibility for many things. Because the problem today is everything is blamed on federal government. Everything on federal government. But once there is a restructuring, it will be different. For example, if there is a state police, this type of problem that starts from state or from local government, the, local, the state police, the governor there, will have enough equipment we have enough resources from, from, the, from the budget to be able to fight it. But this time, every security responsibility is on the go federal government. And the federal government has failed. The federal government has failed so far.